What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as The 365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and the Microsoft 365 connector uh, for Outlook, and we are going to talk about the action which is flag email. So flag email allows you to flag an email in your inbox. You can either flag it, unflag it, or complete it. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a Microsoft 365 Outlook connector flow, and I've got a trigger for my Microsoft 365 Outlook connector, which is when a new email arrives, V3, and we're just triggering this really simple. It's just going to be when it drops into my mailbox. Then I can click on new step, and I can go to the Microsoft 365 Outlook connector, and scroll down until I find the action of flag email V2. So it asked me for a couple of things. So the only required parameter here is the message ID. So the message ID is going to be from that trigger. So I'm type ID in there and find it from that, uh, that, that trigger. And that's the direct content that I want. It does also have an option for original mailbox address. This is if you are using a shared mailbox and you want to you know, do things inside shared mailboxes and flag emails inside shared mailboxes, you would um, select this and you'd have a list of your shared mailboxes. I don't have a shared mailbox, but this just allows the action to like find the right message in the right place. The last thing we have is the flag status. So we have the ability to flag, not flag, or complete. So in this instance, we're just going to choose flag, uh, and that's all we're going to do. So we're going to click on test, and we will test this out. So let's save and test. And then the flow is running, and I can switch over to my Gmail. And I've got this test email here for to send. So matt.collins uh, at tech services group. This is my test domain. Uh, it's not really an email address if you want to email me. Details are at the end of this video. Um, so we can say, please send, please flag this email. So we'll click on send. Then we'll switch, uh, we'll switch back to our um, trigger. Then we'll go into our Outlook. Uh, this was a previous email, so we're just waiting for the new one to drop in. May I just take a moment, and then once that drops in, the flow will trigger, and hopefully we'll see it get flagged. Um, if it wants to, if it wants to run, if it wants to drop in. No, it's just taking a bit of time for that email to go through from my. Uh, we sent it. Must just be taking a minute to actually get through the uh, through emails. Ah, there we go. Sorry there. So please flag this email, and we can see that this is come in as flagged. So it's got a little flag icon there. Uh, it says flag for follow up, so it means that we're going to do something with it. So a lot of people use the flags in Outlook to say, right, okay, I need to, I need, I still need to action this. Um, I still need to action this. I still need to do something. Um, I don't personally use flags. I I have kind of a zero inbox policy, so anything that's in my inbox I need to action, else uh, I don't do anything. But flags are really useful because you can use them for things like uh, Microsoft to do. And you can say if I flag an email or if an email is flagged, it shows up in my flagged uh, my flagged items in Microsoft to do, which is another really, uh, really cool use for it. So we can see that this is flagged and this has come in and it's been flagged instantly. We go back to the um, to the flow and we can see, right, okay, we did this. Now, uh, just to just to check, what we could do is we could say, we're going to not flag this. So what we'll do is we'll test and we'll just run on that previous action, on that previous trigger, sorry, and it should unflag that email for us. So flow run, we go back to the email, and you see it's no longer flagged, so it's not got that red, red flag mark there. And the last one is we can complete it as well. So we can hit complete, again, run from that previous previous successful run, and it should run through and then it should give me a little tick. And we can now see the little tick there instead of the flag. So you can use this in, in varying ways. So you can have rules that say when emails come into this inbox, flag it. If it's got this subject line, flag it. If it's got this subject line, complete it. You can do all these cool things with this action. So as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. So let me know in the comments down below or connect with me on Twitter or on LinkedIn or send me an email address about what you, uh, what you use this for. Um, I'm always interested in new use cases. So let me know in the comments uh, or in any of those other methods. Um, if you did like and enjoyed this video, if you could drop a like on the video and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.